Welcome back to BJP Lifestyle. Today we're going to be doing the top five things that I hate about my Chevy Silverado. Now there's not many things that I hate about this truck. I am going to have my phone here with my notes about things that I don't like. Um, I just did a video on the top five things that I love about my Silverado. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you click down below. Um, I'll link it and you can check that one out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so, so these are going to be the top five things that I don't like, slash hate, slash extremely dislike, slash just don't like a little bit. So the top five things. The number one thing is going to be the Chevy Creek. So it it's like a creaking noise that you get pretty much, I want to say it's in the back end. Something with like the bed, but it's not. It's something with the seat. I don't know. There's probably ways to fix it. I haven't looked too much into it, but there's this creak noise sometimes when you hit like bumps and stuff. And it kind of drives me nuts, um, especially when I have passengers. I can definitely hear it when they're in the back seat. I do get that like creaking noise. I think it's maybe something to do with the seat or the interior pieces or how they're mounted. So I might have to look into that and see if I can fix that. And if I do find a fix, maybe I'll hop out a video for you guys because I know this is super annoying for me. So there's gotta be other people that have the same issue, right? Um, and that kind of leads me into the second thing that I don't like, which is the rattles. So there's another video that I just recorded way earlier today, which is about the dash rattle that you get underneath where the steering column is here in front of me. And it's down by like the pedals almost. And you hear this like rattling and you hit like bumps and stuff. And you get this little rattle and it just, it's just so subtle that kind of like, it just drives me nuts at least. And those are the type of things that drive me nuts, which is another thing of rattles. Um, like the cup holder here, let me just, You hear that there's just so much rattle when you're driving it does like this like vibration rattle so i'm gonna look into fixing that and if i do find a fix maybe with some tape or something in there i don't know i'm gonna try and figure it out to make it obviously not look bad and not be noticeable that i did something to it but i'm gonna try and find something that will make that feel better and like sound better and then i'll make a video about it so that you guys can get rid of that noise as well because it drives me nuts so it's got to drive you guys nuts so this is kind of an issue that's not really with this truck um, particularly but it's overall with this truck um, and that's gonna be that the front bumper and grill like bezel is chrome on this as well as the rear bumper and the thing that I don't like about that is I want to be able to have those color matched now the problem is like if you were to have black or something like that you could probably find it somewhere like a black one on eBay or junkyard or something but since I have the um, the iridium metallic or whatever the gray color is there you can't you can't get them like that like it's very rare for them to have them like that um, and since they came in chrome I mean I could do it but it's gonna be a huge deal it's gonna be a bunch of money which I probably just have some shop do it but I wish that I could just order them from the factory like I wish I could go to the Chevy dealership and go to like the parts department and say hey I want the front bumper the front girl bezel and this because they obviously make them if they put them on the trucks and they obviously paint them to match and everything but if you order them you can order a replacement bumper or a replacement rear bumper or a replacement like grill bezel and stuff but you can't get it painted like it won't come painted it'll just become raw and then you have to get it painted anyway so you might as well just go do that when you have to pay I think it's like $900 for one of the bumpers and $750 for the other unpainted unpainted like you're not even paying for the paint Ridiculous. All right, so let me give, let me give a fifth or a fourth, let me give a fourth thing that I don't like about my Silverado. And this is gonna be an actual complaint that I don't like. So when I'm like merging onto the highway, obviously I have my mirror, so I'll be like, hands up here, I'm driving, and I'm looking at my mirror here and I can kind of see, um, obviously there's a little blind spot mirror there, which is great, but I can't see because I like to look over my shoulder. Now what happens is when I'm looking over my shoulder here, we have this right here, which is a, which is like the, the rest, but this A pillar is huge with like the pull handle to get in. And then it's a small door obviously on just the extended cab. And then that's got more trim. So there's such a small window of visibility back there. So it's very hard to like do a quick look back and see in like your blind spot. Um, one way I might be able to fix this is by getting the bigger like tow mirrors, um, which is a future upgrade, hopefully sometime in the future. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. And then for a fifth thing, I can't even think of a fifth thing because there's not much that I don't like about this truck. Like I said, it's been my dream truck for a long, long time. So it's one of those things where I'm so glad to have it. And like, I just love it. It's my baby. And there's so many things that I like about it, more than five things that I love about it and less than five things that I hate about it, which is kind of weird because I figured by now there would be more things that I dislike about it. But I really can't say anything like that I don't really like about it. There's a lot that I like. I mean, I guess I could say that the V4 mode, um, which is how the truck 
shifts from four cylinder and eight cylinder depending on like your speed and different things. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it changes between a four cylinder and an eight cylinder, so it basically shuts off four of the cylinders. Um, which is great. I mean, it probably saves gas mileage. I don't know. I mean, I just wanted a V8, so I don't really care. Um, I probably there is a thing that you can get that will kind of like tune, tune your truck, which will get rid of that. Which I might do in the future, um, especially after I get an exhaust, because I don't. I heard there's like weird drone noises and stuff when you're in four-cylinder mode, and like shifting between them is like a weird noise. And I think it does give a weird like jerking motion. Um, so I guess that would be like one dislike, but it's not a super big deal to me, so I didn't want to put it on the list. I think my biggest thing about this truck and like my biggest regret was not getting the four-door short bed. Um, I really like the look of those, and like I probably should have waited and got one, but I got a pretty good deal on this truck, and I saw it, I drove it, and it just felt right. You know what I mean? It was one of those things where it just felt like it was like the one that I should get. So I got it, and uh, yeah, that's my one regret, I guess, with it is not getting the four-door with the short bed. Um, instead of getting the like mid bed and the the, the two door extended cab, but like I said, that's such a small complaint. And you know, what I mean, I love my truck and everything overall. I, there's definitely a lot more good than bad. So if you're looking into one of these trucks, definitely go test drive them, check them out, see if it's right for you, see if the towing capacity and hauling capacity is going to be right for you as well. Um, see which model of the engine you might need and different things like that, because it's going to be based on your personal use. There's a bug on the windshield and it's gonna be your personal use. If you did get any information about this video or any entertainment, make sure you click that like button down below to let me know that I did a good job or a decent job on this video at least. And of course, make sure you comment down below any things that you love or you hate about your truck, either your Ram, your Silverado, any other truck, You maybe you have a Titan and you just absolutely hate something about it, go ahead and comment down below so if other people are looking at that, maybe they'll, they'll find something that they don't like about that truck because you told them about that and then they'll test drive it and not like it and not buy it. Um, so make sure you do that down below, not just for me, but for other people. I love the interaction, so make sure you do that. Um, of course, subscribe to stay up to date with future content. That's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.